everyone, I'm Brian Andres from Drum Magazine, and you are watching the Afro-Caribbean Practice Pad Lesson. All right, so for today's lesson, we're gonna focus on the bongo bell, the bongo bell pattern, actually. So in a traditional salsa, Latin jazz group, the bongo player would, at one point in the song, put the bongo down and then pick up the bell. They would play this pattern, generally when they're gonna pick up the bell, they're gonna play this pattern. It's gonna sound like this, one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, so the, less, the rest of the lesson is just going to focus on this pattern, but applied to a mounted cowbell on the drum set. So example one is that same pattern, Play down on a mounted bell. Same thing, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, so like most Cuban rhythms, clave is very important in the structure of the bongo bell pattern. So the pattern as I played it in example one is a two, three direction. All right, so clave, for those that may not know, is this five note pattern that sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one. All right, so that's a two, three clave direction. Those two patterns, the clave and the bongo bell, have to play the same direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those two together now for you, and this is gonna be example two, and this is a two, three, clave, bongo bell pattern. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, so if you wanted to make that a 3-2 clave direction, you can start the measure, uh, the second measure of example two. In any of the examples that we go over in this lesson, to make anything 3-2, simply start the pattern on the second measure. Okay, so for lesson three, we're gonna take the exact same thing we did with lesson two, but we're gonna add a little one measure repetitive pattern with our feet. So on my hi-hat, I'm just gonna play a half note pulse of one and three, and I'm going to add the bass drum on the and of two. All right, so the, the foot by itself, the feet by themselves are going to sound like this. One, two, a one, two, three, four, one. Two. All right, so we add our hands to that clave and bongo bell pattern in example three sounds like this. One, Two, a one, two, three, four. So for lesson four, we're going to change our left hand pattern. So instead of playing clave, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mimic a conga pattern by playing the two on the snare drum and the four and on the high tom. So just that left hand pattern is gonna sound like this. A one, two, three, four. All right, so we add a half note pulse with our left foot and of two on the bass drum and our bongo bell pattern. And example four will sound like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. So you can combine lessons two, three, and four, all right, into one pattern. That will be the next thing I show you, which is lesson five. We're going to keep the conga pattern with our left hand. All right. We're going to add clave to our 
uh, left foot. You can do it on the hi-hat. I've got a, a cowbell down there. I'm going to play it on the cowbell. Bass drum on the and of two, and we're keeping our bongo bell pattern the same. Put all of that together, and you're going to get lesson five. So one, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, so for example six, we're going to introduce the mambo bell pattern. Uh, I would recommend checking out a for an in-depth look at the mambo bell. I, I would check out uh, Winter Drum Magazine's Winter uh, 2018 edition. I have an article in there that deals specifically with the mambo bell pattern. You can learn a lot about that in that issue, Winter 2018. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, apply the mambo bell to this pattern, but. Uh, just to give you an idea what it sounds like, we'll play it by itself. So this is going to be example six, the mumble bell pattern. It's going to sound like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. So we're going to take that mumble bell pattern with our right hand, and we're going to go ahead now and shift uh, the mumble the bumble bell pattern to our left hand. Uh, now, if you happen to have bells on the other side of the drum set, it really doesn't matter which hand you use, but I'll be playing bongo with my left hand, the mambo with my right. All right, so this is going to be example seven. It's putting these patterns together. It's going to sound like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. So once you get comfortable playing those two bell patterns together, you can go ahead and add our, our foot pattern back in. Again, we're going to play the hi-hat on the half note feel, the one and the three, the bass drum on the and of two, back to the bell patterns on top of that, and this will be example eight, putting all of that together. It's going to sound like this. One, two, a one, two, three, four. That's it for today's lesson. Uh, thanks for joining us here at Drum Magazine. Hope you enjoyed the Afro-Caribbean practice pad lesson.